played that song and then the old gentleman walked back to me and he said, what song was that? I'm going to tell you guys a, a story um, that happened to me a few months back and actually has a lot to do with this video because I was actually planning to make this video uh, way back in January uh, and I, I, um, I got myself into a rut, to be honest. Uh, I saw a bunch of other YouTubers uh, playing piano really well and I got bummed the fuck out. I was just like... These are piano gods. I I should not tread in the in this territory. I have no right to be here. Ooh, my camera autofocus there. Um, but something happened a few weeks later, and um, I, I guess I because of that I I wanted to make the video again, and I I've got a really different take on how I wanted to do the video in particular, because before it was you know I was gonna make a skit uh, of me playing some piano, uh. Not that I do skits, but I've actually written, like, ten skits. Well, I kind of do them for April Fool's, but anyways, I I write a lot. I, I write some skits for my channel, and then I just throw them in the trash, because uh, that's where they belong. And, um, anyways, uh, the reason I sort of changed my mind about uh, playing piano was because, um, well... What I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so, um, a few uh, a few months ago, back in January, uh, was it February? Very, no, I think it was very late January. Uh, my baby brother, well, baby, my my toddler brother had a birthday, and um, uh, you know, there's not a lot to do around there, but my dad's house has a uh, a, a baby grand piano, and so I sometimes just sneak off and. Uh, go, go play on the baby grand and you know it's a it's a pretty big house so uh there, there was a few people around but not many uh, it was a birthday party for my baby brother that, so it was mostly like a couple of young kids this uh elderly gentleman you know heard me and he was he was really excited and he just sat next to me and i was immediately like oh are you a pianist Do you want to play something and he said no no i'm a vocalist so I figured, hey, here's a song that you might know then. And I started playing a song. And, uh, you know, we tried to play it together. Uh, sing it together. And uh, this first song uh, I'm going to play for you. I'm going to... I actually... <laughs> I want to dedicate this one to a good friend of mine called uh, Lost Fox 18 He's one of the artists at Planet Dolan. And you may know him from other places. He's a great guy. Fantastic artist. Um, and... For this song, I actually, I went up to him, this is back in February, so he probably forgot all about this by now, I went up to him and I said, I want you, well, he, he I'm going to say this off the bat, um, some people, some friends of artists, friends of mine, have said if I wanted to have a little bit of art for my videos, I could ask them for a picture. So, don't just ask artists for pictures, my god, that is so rude. Um, so I rudely went up to Lost Fox and I asked him for a picture and I said, can you draw me and you being friends, just me and you buddy, buddy, you know, and, um, kind of left it up to his interpretation. I kind of figured, oh, you know, maybe he'll do like a, you know, around the arm, uh, or, uh, you know, head noogie or something, you know, just a fun little picture. Anyways, so that's sort of the, um, that's a theme message of this song. Um, there's a slight chance you all may have heard it. I kind of hope you have. Some other folks might be a, a little bit smaller. 
stronger than I am, but bigger and stronger too. And none of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you. And as the years go by, our friendship will never die. You're going to see it's our destiny. Boy, you got a friend in me. Yeah, you got a friend in me. Mark, you've got a friend in me I'm gonna settle on that recording That was actually not too bad I, I really hope you enjoyed it, uh, Mark And everyone else who listened So, I'm gonna be completely honest The elderly gentleman I sang that with To slash More to um, He didn't actually know that song very well He kind of kind of sang along a bit but i guess it was kind of maybe it was too modern for him and um so i gave it another try at a song that he might know and it was a total shot in the dark but it was the only kind of older song that i kind of have been playing recently and um well <laughs> it was from like it's circa 1939 so it's a really old song not many people hear it, but I actually I heard it on the uh, the the classics radio station. I think it's called they call themselves no I heard it on one of the old on basically I basically heard it on the old people radio station, and that's uh, and I I like the sound of it, so I was like hey you know I'll kind of learn that song. You know the song's actually about a rabbit, so I asked my dear friend Limbo the Lost, who did a similar and did. Well, actually, offered offered a few times to make some art for videos, and in fact, if you've seen my videos, she's done that before. I asked her to draw me a draw draw her pet rabbit Aki in a pie, uh, and I told her, "Don't ask any questions." <laughs> I, I I told them I can't tell you what it is because, of course, if I told them, you'd be spoiling it. Anyways, so. This uh, this uh, next song is for Limbo, and uh, or you know it's it's for Limbo or it's for Limbo's rabbit. You know whichever way you want to take it, it's for both of them. They can enjoy it together. I hope. Uh, I hope they haven't heard this one because if it is, it's a nice unique experience for them. If they have heard it though, I hope I don't butcher it. So um, uh, let's give this give this song a whirl and see how I go at it because this. this is... <sighs> All right, got to put on a bit more of a, a a less normal voice for this one. Oh, on the farm, every Friday on the farm, it's rabbit pie day. So every Friday that ever comes along, I get up early to sing this little song. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Run, rabbit, run. Guns a run, rabbit run, rabbit run, run, run. Run, rabbit run, rabbit run, run, run. Don't give the farmer his fun, fun, fun. He'll be fine with. His rabbit pie, so run, Aki, run, Aki, run, run, run. That song was Run, Rabbit, Run. I'm not sure how many people out there would have heard that one before. I don't do it too well myself, but it was good enough for the old guy. Uh, it was, he knew the song and he sang along. He, he may have missed a word here or there, but he clearly knew the song and, and he was very excited to sing it along with me. And, um, after that, I guess he out felt like he maybe outstayed his welcome. Uh, or maybe he was just tired of sitting down. Maybe I stank too much. Either way, he kind of, you know, just... He made his way off. Um, and as he uh, started walking away, I was like, okay, I guess I'll play something else. And um, then, I, then I played an original. And he walked his way back.
many hours after I played that song, the guy made his way back, and I kind of thought, said, uh, I really thought it was a nice way to start a YouTube video, and I'd, had a, I'd actually been thinking of starting a YouTube video uh, with that song. And, um, yeah. So that's how I started today's video. Uh, when it was said and done, um, I was really glad, and I, and I saw that, you know, me playing piano with, for this guy and singing along with him, it clearly brightened up his day. He was so excited about it, and uh, I I hope he wasn't just doing that for my sake to make me feel better. <laughs> but it was great, and I feel that sharing this, maybe I can make someone else's day a bit better. Yeah, that's basically it. I was really demotivated, thinking that uh, no one would want to see this and I'm terrible. And then I made someone seem a lot happier by playing piano, and I thought, hey doesn't matter that I suck. <laughs> maybe I don't suck, but I kind of do. Uh, <laughs> but maybe, I, maybe I'm good enough that I can brighten someone's day, and for that reason, I'm going to do it. I'm going to record the video, and I'm going to dedicate it to those people who, um, who brightened my day. Well, at least some of them. Um, and yeah, so a huge thanks to uh, Limbo for the art, and to Lost Fox for the art, and for not asking questions either of you two, so I could... Uh, Leave this as a surprise. All right. So I tried to do an outro for Derek at the English Bees Expression podcast with me. Because uh, we, because I had actually been playing piano for him a little bit, just as a little bit of fun. Um, and so I figured, hey, I'll record an outro for him. Ha ha ha. This will be great. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, what do I call it? Sign us off? Send us off? I don't remember the wording. Uh, anyway, play us out. I'll play us out. And I thought a little snippet from Scott Joplin would play perfectly. And it's a good ending to a video. And I'm going to play that for you right now. Because what Derek uploaded was a butchering of the recording. Because it didn't come through his end on Discord, right? Anyways, it goes a little bit something like this. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.